It's Jersey Jaguar and I'm back at you with another video and today I'm going to explain how to customize a hockey jersey. I got two different jerseys that I'm going to customize in this video because they use two different customization processes and guys hopefully after this video you're going to be more confident and you're going to understand what you need to do to get that jersey customized. Now guys I'm going to break this video down into different categories to help it move along and to help the video stay on track. All right let's get to it. Alright, so first and foremost, you need to decide who or what you want on your jersey to get customized into. So for example, obviously, if you want a player, you put that player. If you want your own name, you put your own name. Maybe you want your nickname. Or maybe you want your company's name on the jersey. Or maybe you want a jersey with the year that your favorite team was founded or a year that they won the comp. Alright guys, so there's a lot of different options to look at to when deciding who or what you want. Next, also think about is there special seasons. Did they win a Stanley Cup that season? If you're getting a certain player, you're going to have to add a patch if you want to be accurate, all right? Or, for example, if there's a rookie jersey that you're wanting to get, you're going to have to get that specific manufacturer for that season, again, if you want to be accurate. So, guys, accuracy is also really important with deciding about who you want to. If you don't really care about how accurate the jersey is, you could just get whatever's available and have it customized to that player. Or if you're like me and a lot of other guys, you want it to be as accurate as possible within reason, all right? We're going to talk about that next. So a big step in choosing your jersey and your player is going to be what amount of information you're able to obtain for that jersey. Now, guys, you're going to have to look up images, obviously. I use Google Images, Getty. A lot of time, the um, newspaper sites from, from that city are useful. The, the team websites, there's a lot of different options to use. Guys, ask around in the community too for hockey jerseys and hockey on different social media platforms. A lot of the people are helpful and they'll do your best to help you out. Again, though, if you go with a team supplier directly, they'll be able to have all this information already. So guys, if you come to the point where you can't find enough information for a certain jersey, there might be a reason not to do that specific player for that specific season. That happened to me before in the past. I just couldn't get enough info, so I had to do a different option. All right, so once we got the basics out of the way, now we're going to look at the specifics. And guys, specifically, I wanted to get two jerseys customized. I wanted a Nashville Predators Reverse Pressure 1.0, and I decided on Roman Josie because he's the captain, one of their better players, and he has that C on the front of the jersey. That has a little bit more flair, in my opinion. And guys, for the second jersey, I really like them Jets alternates, a.k.a. the Aviator. And I also like patches on my jerseys. So in 2021, they had a nice anniversary patch. And I decided to go with Mark Shifley because, again, he has a assistant captain patch. And he also has a cool number, which is double 55, and it looks good for that font. And he has a nice long name. So these are some of the reasons I looked at when deciding on these two jerseys. So a big part of this process is going to be locating a jersey. Sometimes it takes forever. You have to keep searching. And sometimes you get lucky, for example this jets aviator guys it's an awesome color they're not that hard to find they are kind of common so i got it at a good price this and just like a lot of other jerseys you can find on macari ebay as well as a lot of other selling platforms you can find them on facebook marketplace in different groups on social media you can find them from private sellers team shops pro shops etc there's a lot of different options for finding more common jerseys Guys, for jerseys that aren't as common, you're going to have to do a little bit more of a research. And keep in mind, sometimes you're going to have to pay up and overpay for something that's rare if you really want that jersey and you really want to get that jersey done. Now, in terms of this National Predators Reverse Retro, I was debating on this or keeping my current National Predators jersey, which is their standard home jersey. You know, however, this Reverse Retro is a little bit more unique and it's a little bit more rare. I found one. It was on sale at Adidas Hockey. Uh, and, you know, I'm happy with it. All right, so now that we located the jerseys, now we have to locate and figure out what we're going to do with the other materials for the jersey to get it customized. So guys, first and foremost, if you could go to a team shop directly or the team supplier, I should say, you're probably going to get the closest, if not exact match to what the players wear. 
For example, City Sport Lettering does the Chicago Blackhawks players' jerseys and the jerseys for the pro shop. So with that said, if you go to City Sport and you have a Blackhawks jersey, they're pretty going to make much make it the way the players have it on ice. Now for this Winnipeg Jets, uh, Ace does their customization for the team from what I understand. However, I didn't want to ship my jersey to Canada and go through that whole process. So I used the next best route and I'm going to go ahead and do things piece by piece. So as I said earlier in this video, I really like having patches on my jerseys or something that makes a jersey unique to that season. So I went ahead on NHL shop and luckily they still had patches there and I got this 2021 anniversary patch for the Winnipeg Jets. It's extra cool because it has a fighter jet on there and I love fighter jets. All right, so now that we got the little accessories and like small things done with the jersey, we're going to go into the bigger part of the jersey and the main part and that's the actual kits for the jersey. So guys, I would love to have sent my Winnipeg Jets out to Ace. However, the turnaround time, the price, and the shipping all would have costed me. Having to ship the jersey out there is even another step that I didn't feel like doing. So I'm going to go ahead and use Customized Sports. Guys, for the vast majority of my jerseys, I use Customized Sports. They do an excellent job. For most hockey kits, they have team specs. If they don't, message them. You might have to do a little research, but you could give them the team specs. Or if you want something made differently, they'll do pretty much whatever you ask them. They do the kits, meaning the name and the numbers, and they do an excellent job with it. So this team specifically uses standard layer twill, which is only two color, so it's pretty straightforward. I got the kit in. The kit looks accurate. However, the nameplate was a little bit off in terms of the color, so I went ahead and sourced my own nameplate material. Now guys, for hockey jerseys, this is going to be an annoying step that you're going to find um, if you go your own route versus going with a team supplier, all right? So what I did is I found a Fanatics version of the jersey for extremely cheap and I used that. There's other options you could do too and the material is actually pretty close. The color is in with, uh, the color is within half a shade. And for this jersey being that it's not ultra rare or ultra sought after or one that I kind of just want to add to my collection, you know, it's good enough. Now if there's a jersey I've been wanting forever and it's extremely rare, extremely desirable, something I want spot on accurate, I'm going to find the exact material for that jersey. Okay, and for the Roman Josie Natural Predators Reverse Retro, I also ordered the kit from Customized Sports. Guys, he ships them out quick, he gets them done quick, and this one is awesome. So this jersey, as you can see, actually uses sublimated tackle twill. It's only single layer. The, the tackle twill is dyed to give a multi-layer effect, and actually that's how the team wore it on ice, which is kind of cool. So guys, not only is the name, numbers, and captain patch, all sublimated so is the name and the name is directly sublimated into the nameplate and this time the nameplate is a direct match with the jersey so guys i looked out they did an excellent job now it's time to go to the stitching process and now is basically the final step of the process and that is getting the jersey stitched together so guys, if you don't use a team's supplier directly, this is going to be the ex extra added step. So as you can see here, this Dustin Bufflin jersey, I had City Sport do it. It was a blank jersey. They already had the fonts, the kits, etc., and they know how to sew it on to team specs. I gave them the jersey. They put it together, and it came out just like how the players wear. So it was an easy one, two, three process. And as you can see, the different details here on the kit, it is what they wear. All right, guys, so assuming you don't, all right, you're going to have to find something that stitches the jersey on. So I still use City Sport lettering, even for my non-Blackhawks jerseys and non-hockey jerseys. They're extremely good about getting it done. Give them a picture if they don't know how to do it or if they haven't done it before, and they'll get it done the way you want. They do an excellent job. So guys, I take my kit from Customized Sports, I bring it over to City Sport lettering, and I have it sew them out. So guys, one thing you have to keep in mind, though, if you have a jersey that already has a player's name on there, you have to strip it off yourself, right? Most shops will not strip jerseys because it is extremely time consuming and it's not worth the money that they charge to get it done. So you're probably gonna have to strip it yourself. I'll post a link in the description on how to strip jerseys that I made a little bit while ago. It's really gonna help you out. All right, so a couple more notes on getting your jersey stitched. Guys, first and foremost, find somebody who is experienced stitching jerseys if you don't use a team's direct supplier. Uh, there's a bunch of shops that do it. If you find a tailor or somebody who does not have experience with jerseys, 
make sure they know how to do a zigzag stitch. A zigzag stitch is the primary type of stitch used when customizing jerseys. Guys, also if you're sending in a used jersey, make sure you wash it before you send it in. There's a lot of dirt, oil, and other stuff like dust in the jersey that you might not see now, but when they heat press it, it could pull up and now make it visible. Guys, if you need a tutorial on how to wash jerseys, I'll put a link in the description on a video I made, as well as how to strip jerseys, and I'll post a video on different types of materials and methods used to customize jerseys. Alright, so as you see, using a team's direct supplier, meaning who does their on-ice jerseys, is going to be the most accurate and easiest process. Now, if you guys are unable to locate one, you could also do things step by step, like I do. Guys, keep in mind also, too, there's websites that customize hockey jerseys like Hockey Authentic, Cool Hockey, as well as private suppliers on different Facebook groups that I've seen. But guys, whatever route you go, if you do it correctly, the end result is going to be extremely rewarding. If you guys found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And even more importantly, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. And guys, if there's any videos that you'd like to see in the future, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to get those done. I'll see you at the next one.